XO8's the time right now. Hurricane Barrels headed for Jamaica as a Cat 4 storm. We do have some pictures live out of the Kingston area we've been dipping into. Here it is. We've seen some rain overnight, but things are pretty quiet at the moment. People are getting ready, though, filling up at gas stations, boarding up their homes. Some stores say they're already running low on supplies, Holony. Yeah, look at this, too. Hurricane Hunter, they actually flew into the eye uh, of that hurricane yesterday. This is video. Um, and I found this. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Steve Weagle, he actually did a little, little explainer on his Facebook page. He says this is what you call a stadium view. It's a view that we regularly see. Uh, we do know that Hurricane Hunter, they've been at it working around the clock to collect data on barrel which is the first major hurricane of what is predicted to be a very active season. Also, Barrel caused a lot of damage in the Caribbean already. Cat 5 strength winds, islands of Barbados hit with strong storm surge. The hurricane knocked over trees, raised water levels, damaged homes. Barrel has left at least seven people dead and countless without a home. We know it's weakened a, a little bit here, um, but it is still really holding together. Yeah, what's the outlook today? Uh, it's heading towards Jamaica, and it's either go right on top of Jamaica or just to the south. Mm. Either way, Jamaica is gonna see everything you expect Something, in the category yeah. for hurricanes. So they'll have a lot of uh, uh, saltwater flooding, inland flooding, 12 inches of rain, winds of 145 miles an hour, lots of damage. So it's still a very powerful storm system. Now, it doesn't look as impressive on Saturday Satellite as it did yesterday because the winds are actually shearing it apart, but it's still very, very strong. You can see how the thunderstorms, at least some of them, are being pushed to the northwest of the center. And you can't see the eye anymore because the clouds are getting pushed over it. Either way, it is heading towards Jamaica, and Jamaica will be dealing with a Category 4 hurricane as we head into the next couple of hours. Now, once it approaches at least the south of the Cayman Islands, at that point in time, it should be a Cat 3, winds of 115. Then a Cat 2 as it approaches Cancun. And then eventually, as it works its way into the Bay of Campeche, it could make landfall right at the Texas-Mexico border as either a weak Category 1 or a tropical storm. And this is sometime early Monday morning. Now, right behind that, we're still watching Invest 96 here, but it seems like really not much is going to happen with that. It's battling too much dry air.